already, if you're watching this video, it means that you probably struggle with scraping high quality prospects through Instagram. And so did I. But it doesn't always have to be that way because I invented a system called the Qualified AI Interest Lead Scraping System. It's a four step process that I use to make sure I get infinite high quality qualified prospects for sending DMs. So I'm not going to waste your precious time, okay? I'm going to show you exactly what they are and then live in action how all four of them work so that you can use them as well. Let's get into it. Number one, as you can read here on my notes, is hyper-specific geographical targeting. Number two is sub-interest prospecting. Number three is AI-generated suggested method. And number four is relevant keyword targeting. So let's, uh, let's dive right into Instagram here. Let me drag this down a bit more further so you can see the full thing guess I can't do that and uh, let's show you all of these in action so number one is hyper specific geographical targeting what you want to do for this is let's say you are in I don't know gym niche you're in the gym niche if you are a lucky day for you let's say you've tried all the methods and you've tried typing gyms and searching for random gyms right blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, and you tried to you know DM a bunch of gyms and, and you've ran out what we can use is the hyper-specific geographical targeting, which is essentially where we type in any single city name before our niche keyword. For example, Miami gym or gyms, whatever, right? doesn't matter. And look at this. We have an abundance of more leads that are hyper-specific to the exact location we wanted to choose. And guess what? Let's look at this. How many cities are there in the US? There are over 19,000 incorporated cities, over 19,000. So theoretically speaking, we could search this city name, okay, over 19,000 times. And that is just for one country. So you can see how many more gyms there are. Because I imagine there's at least one gym or at least one company of whatever niche you are in, in every single city, which means at a bare minimum, we should be able to find at least 19,000 prospects in just America alone not even ac accounting for Sweden, right? Like, let's say we could even, you know, we could just type in Sweden gyms. Look at this. We've got gyms in Sweden, right? We could type in specific Stockholm gym, right? Boom, look at this. And do you see how there's an infinite amount of, 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 uh, of leads now? Because you can literally choose exactly where and just keep going down city by city by city until you've done every single city. Which at that point, you have messaged a ton of people and you probably don't struggle with finding leads anymore. So, method number one is the hyper-specific geographical, geographical targeting. Which is where you type in a specific city name before your niche, right? So if you're doing home renovation... Um, or kitchen remodeling, right? We could type in Colorado kitchen remodel, right? Or Colorado kitchen, I don't know. I don't, kitchen remodel, boom. Interior design, kitchen remodel, kitchen design, kitchen, right? You see how this works for literally any niche, any city, anywhere? So that is method number one. And also, if you're still watching this, good for you because you're smart. Um, but Little little insider tip is you can stack these on top of each other, and I'll, I'll demonstrate that more later on. But let's get through the other three, and then I'll show you how you can do that. So, the second one is sub interest prospecting, which is essentially where you go to an authoritative figure in your niche. Okay, you go to any authoritative figure in your niche. You then go to their followers or following, and you go type in a specific interest, and you can find prospects that way. For example, let's say here. If you, I don't know if you guys know Brian Mark. Um, pretty big guru in this in this whole space, um, but he's literally the number one rated business coach for online coaches. Okay, so he's got a decent following. Ideally, when we do this method, um, and once again to repeat, this is the sub interest prospecting method. We use um, accounts that have a good amount of followers, right? A decent amount of followers. This guy, let's say, let's aim for at least over 50k, right? That's that's a fair number to to go for. So he's he meets the qualifications, right? He's 58k. What we do is we can click his following or followers, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, obviously, the followers will give you way more people. So we're going to go followers. You're going to type in the search bar. You're going to type in whatever keyword you're looking for. So for example, this guy's a business coach. So we're probably looking for either coaches or people that are in business. So let's say coach. We type in coach. Okay, apparently this doesn't work. Look at this. This isn't scripted. Let's type in business. Okay, apparently this doesn't work anymore. Worked 10 minutes ago when I did this for myself, but uh, I guess this doesn't work. Jim? 
There we go. Okay, let's say you're looking for gyms. Boom. Random gyms that follow this guy, okay, that you can message that you probably wouldn't find otherwise, right? Because what you what you find when you search is relative to like your account. So you'll probably find a lot of local people, a lot of people of, of people that you follow. So when you do something like this, you get a ton of new people you would have never seen before. Right? And as you can see there's a bunch of people that have, you know, gym in their name. Right? I don't know why it didn't work for coach. Here we go. Look at this. Now it's working. Right? So we type in coach, look at all these coaches we can get. Right? If you're let's say your niche is coaches and consultants, look at this. Coach, 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 and coaches that you probably wouldn't have want to have found otherwise if you had just been searching. Because, like I mentioned before, Instagram tart like uh, shows you relative people to your type of profile, the people you follow, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? And so this gives us a whole bunch of new people. And the best part is, not only can we do this for so many different people, right? Like this is only one guy we're doing this. We can also go to these guys. So let's say we go to Jordan. Right? Some of these people won't let you actually see the people, um, so only this guy lets them see followers, but most people will. Right? And you can do this over and over and over and over and over again. Right? And so let's say we go to this following and we type in coach on this guy. Right? We're going to get a ton of other coaches and it just keeps going and going and going. So this is the sub-interest prospecting method, which is essentially what we find an authoritative figure in our niche and we use their following to our advantage, we leverage their following so we can find more high quality prospects. Okay, so that is method number two. And you can see how these can stack on top of each other, right? Because for example, let's say you searched for, I don't know, Miami gym, right? And you go to their followers and you type in gym. Like you see how that, now there's a bunch of other gyms and these are probably all in, in Miami or at least somewhere close by. So let's see how, see how we can start stacking these on top of each other. Right, and this is specific to just Miami. So imagine if we did this for New York, Colorado, LA, San Diego, San Francisco, you name it, right? Like we could do this on and on and on and on and on and we keep getting different people because they're all in different areas with different types of followings. See where I'm getting at? We're getting a lot of a lot of leads now, a lot of high quality leads as well. Now, number three. AI generated suggested method. I'll just show you right here on this profile because uh, it's a good example, right? And it's a good example of, of stacking these on top of each other. So let's say for example, we used system number one, which is hyper specific geographical targeting. And we found this gym. What we can do now, and this works on mobile as well, is you click this little suggested button right here. And boom, what happens is you start to get a bunch of people that are relative, not always, but relative to what this account is. As you can see, there's a lot of fitness people here and a lot of them are from Miami. But let's say you want to take this up a notch. Let's, let's do another example. Let's say you're in, in powerlifting, okay? I don't know if you guys know, um, but Joey Flex, arguably the goat of powerlifting, best coach of all time. Um, let's say you want to find powerlifters. Let's say your niche is powerlifters and you want to DM powerlifters. Well, let's go find a big powerlifter. Joey Ten happens to ju just be one of those with 66,000 followers. Now, granted, you could go to his followers and, and search in powerlifter, right? This is one of the methods we talked about. Boom, right? All these powerlifters. But we're talking about the new method, which is the AI generated suggested method, which is where we click this little button up here, as you can see my mouse, which is the suggested which is accounts that are suggested for you based on this profile and the kind of people you follow, kind of. I don't really know the exact AI, how it works, but that's kind of how it works. So let's go through, right? Like we can start clicking on these guys, but boom, Chance Mitchell, power lifter, right? And we can go on and on and on. Um, I gotta wait for it to load, right? But like the, the point is these are all power lifters, power lifters, power lifter, power lifter. All these are power lifters, right? Like all of these guys, if you don't already follow, these go um, are all power lifters, right? That's just on and on and on and on. Look at this. We can stop randomly anytime. Powerlifting now. Another powerlifting guy, right? Boom. Anthony, 105 junior national champion, powerlifter, right? Like just infinite leads using using um, Instagram's AI, right? Which is the suggested method, which suggests you uh, people based on how their AI functions, right? You can go to see all and see a whole list of all these people. Right, and then here's the thing. Now we can just go to another person. Let's say we go to this guy, Anthony. We click on suggested for him, and then boom, a bunch of new people come up. And we can just keep going and going and going. Eventually, you're gonna start to hit a, a, a repeated circle. Okay, you're gonna start to see the same people. So all you do then is you would just search in like New York Power Lifter. Right, you go specific. I realize I didn't even type New York properly. That is bad. New York Power Lifter. 
Okay, Powerlifters of New York. This one might not work as well because it's kind of a small account, but hey, look at this. It'll probably still work. Boom. I, there we go. Look at this. Boom. Like these are probably all power lifters from within the New York area, right? So we're, we're stacking these, you know, systems on top of each other, right? We're using the AI generated suggested method with the hyper specific geographical targeting, right? Now we get like, we didn't see this girl before, so we just saw a bunch of new people, right? And look at this. Look at all these new guys. All these new guys. Right? All power lifters. At least I hope so. Yeah, this guy's a lifter. Right? So, you see, you guys are starting to get along here, how, the, how we can get so many good prospects and, and infinite because we can just stack so many of these different ways on top of each other. Right? Which lets us just get an infinite amount of leads. Because let's say if you did just this one method and then you ran out. Well, then you do this one with this one. Or this one with this one. Or this one alone. Right? You see where I'm getting at? Now, let's go to the last one which is the rele relevant keyword targeting. Now, a lot of you guys like to use hashtags, which is fine. However, I'm gonna give you guys a tip. When we are searching hashtags, a lot of you guys, for example, if you're in the gym niche, you'll type in gym or gyms or, I don't know, workout or whatever, right? Which is a hashtag that literally everybody on the planet uses, right? Everybody uses the, the, the hashtag fitness, workout, gym, trainer, whatever, right? So many people use that. So what we want to do is we want to use hashtags that our prospects would likely use themselves. For example, let's say if you're targeting gyms, I've already searched it up here, but for this is a great example, gyms likely might put a hashtag that is like boot camp workout, okay, or seven day summer shred. But you want to find like something that's relevant, right? That's why we talked about relevant keywords. So boot camp workout, as a matter of fact, has like over 300,000 uh, hashtags, right? Boom, 392,000, which means there's a ton of people that post about this, which means we can find a ton of good gyms. So as we can see here, let's just look at this guy, for example, right? Just work fit. Well, this is weird. Look at this, completely new lead. And guess what? We can do the suggested method and find all these gyms as well. Or we can go to the, the followers method, right? Type in gym, right? Or we can type in, you type in whatever you want, fitness, right? if you're looking for fitness trainers, right? Look at all this, right? This is where we start stacking them on top of each other. But let's go back, right? Because we're doing the, the relevant keyword targeting. So let's go back, right? And look at all these. We have other people. Boom, we can target this girl, right? Or we can target this whole group of people, boot camp, whatever this is. Looks like it's somewhere in probably Europe. I don't know. Right? Or actually, I don't know about that. Anyways, look at this. Like, all these people are probably great people to target. That Not many people target because no one really looks up hashtag bootcamp. Right? So, this is a, like a way that you can actually hyper-target good, good hashtags. Right? Like, if, if we think of, example, what would an interior design uh, use as a hashtag? I don't know. So, what we'll do is type in interior, interior design. Okay, and we'll go to the first one. Let's go to their post. Let's look at their. Okay, this is not a good one because that's not even a. Hope I spelled that right. Here, let's go to this one. Let's see what this girl. Let's see what she posts. Let's click on here. No hashtags. Okay, well, never mind. I was going to say what you want to do is like find somebody uh, that has that is an interior designer or whatever your niche is and just go to see what hashtags they use and then just use that hashtag. But like if I wasn't an interior, des interior design, I'm not sure because I'm not an interior designer. I don't know exactly what I would, you know, put in. So maybe this girl, last one we'll check. We'll see. Let's go here. Here we go. So here we go. Let's look at all these. Which one seems like it's very specific to hers? I'm gonna go with custom home creator. I feel like only people that do this would put that, right? So let's go to custom home creator and see what happens. Look at that, not many posts. Okay, but that's fine because we could stack these on top of each other. But look at all these different people. Right, like let's say we go to this person. Oh, it's literally this girl again. Maybe she's the only one that uses it, whatever. Right, space planning. Let's see if that's a good hashtag, right? We wanna find hashtags that actually have, you know, people using them. Uh, my Instagram isn't loading here apparently. It is what it is. I can't load anymore. 
I guess I've crashed Instagram. I've given away all the secrets. They're trying to ban me. Oh, here we go. Space planning. Look at this. Okay, so here we go. I mean, I don't know if you can reach out to these people, but you get the point, right? You see how we're just getting a bunch of bunch of new leads, right? Like for example, I don't know. We can go here. Suggested. Boom. Go on and on and on. You get you get what I'm getting at, right? So, with that being said, this is the the four best step ways okay that you can go about finding qualified prospects on Instagram which will make sure you never run out of leads again because we just have to think that you know if in the US alone there's over 19,000 incorporated cities let's say if you're targeting gyms or home renovation or landscaping or um, car detailing right or, or you name it there's at least one of those companies in every single city right and let's say for example half of them don't have Instagram that is still right 8,000 plus people that you can reach out to, which I bet you, you do not have 8,000 plus people on your list. And that is in America alone. We haven't even talked about so many different countries, right? You can go to Canada, you can go to Sweden, you can go to Italy, you can go to Australia. I don't care. Go wherever you want, right? But there is an abundance amount of leads to be found. And uh, using these methods, if you stack them on top of each other, you can also find such hyper targeted people that you wouldn't have found otherwise, right? So... Just to recap, you know, the qualified AI interest lead scraping system. Number one is hyper-specific geographical targeting, which is where you type in the location of any single city or place before your niche name, right? Second one is sub-interest prospecting, which is where we find an authoritative figure in our niche and we go to their followers or following, okay? And we type in a keyword that is our niche. Third one is AI generated suggested method, which is where we just find a pretty decent player in our niche. We click the suggested button, we see all the suggested accounts that they give us. And number four is relevant keyword targeting, which is where we type in hashtags that our prospects would likely use themselves. Okay, so with that being said, I hope that you found a tremendous amount of value in this video because I tried to give every single thing away I knew about scraping leads on Instagram to make your life that much easier so you can go on to make more money. Why? I like to think I'm a good person at heart, so when I make these videos, it makes me feel like I'm a better person. Right? I don't know. Just hope that you guys make, make a lot of money. Right? That's my goal. Just want you guys to be happy, make a lot of money, live a fulfilling life. That's all I selfishly want. Which, is that really selfish? I don't know. Up to you to decide. Anyways, I'm not going to ramble on any further because if I keep talking, the retention is going to go down. And that means that the view count is going to go down. And that's going to hurt my ego. So, if you're still watching this... You're the best. Leave a comment down below because I'll reply to you. With that being said, once again, I feel like I'm literally doing a real YouTube outro. Leave a comment if you have any questions or just let me know if you liked the video, if this was helpful to you. Other than that, I'll catch you next time. Peace.